Okay. Explain it to me one more time. So, there are these invisible monsters that feed off of negative emotions. If these monsters grow powerful enough, they can influence human behavior, which results in crimes like murder. There's a small number of people who have the ability to see and fight the monsters. Only females can have this power. The show is about the magical girls who can see and fight the monsters. Their power depends on how many admirers they have, so the magical girls are usually pop idols. All of them are actresses, singers, models, super popular bloggers, and things like that. Their power gets weaker when they're far away from their fans, so the Japanese magical girls stay in Japan, the American magical girls stay in America, and so on. Are you getting all of this? If they stop being popular, then they would lose their power. So they have to juggle their public celebrity life with their secret magical girl life. That's where it gets interesting. The protagonist is a girl named Miyuki, who isn't a celebrity. She's just the most popular girl in her school. The other magical girls look down on her because she's nothing like them. The show's about Miyuki's struggle to cut it as a magical girl, even though she's relatively weak, and none of the other magical girls respect her. Trust me, man, this show is freaking amazing! I don't want to spoil it, but it gets really good once Miyuki starts getting stronger than some of the veteran magical girls, and they start... Um, just, just trust me, you need to watch this show. I don't know, dude. It doesn't sound like my type of show. One of the main characters is a swimsuit model who has millions of fans because she's super busty. <laughs> okay, I might give it a look. What's it called again? Magical Girl, Pretty Miyuki! You don't need to strike a pose when you tell me, dude. If you saw the show, you'd understand! I watched the first episode, and I don't see what's so great about it. Dude, you need to keep watching. It gets really good about halfway through the first season. That's lame, dude. I don't want to watch something that sucks for the first half. No, you don't get it. The first half of the show is there to trick people into thinking that they're watching a typical magical girl show, and then BAM! The plot twists start dropping! Dude, did you just spoil something that was supposed to be a surprise? Yes, technically, but if you were planning to drop the show, then it was totally worth it. You need to understand this. Magical Girl Pretty Miyuki is a deconstruction of Magical Girl shows. Everything is called a deconstruction these days. What does that even mean? It takes the concept of Magical Girls and then applies it to real life. Like, how hard would your life actually be if you really were a Magical Girl? That's what the show is about. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first time there's been a show like that. Yeah, but Miyuki does it differently. Trust me, dude. Trust me. Keep watching. You need to. Have you been watching it? Yeah, I watched a few more episodes. Still really cliche. Still a whole bunch of boring old tropes. That's what makes it so good! It lays out all these tropes, and then it subverts the tropes. I feel like you're spoiling it for me when you say stuff like that. I can't let you drop the show, dude! I need you to know that there's a payoff coming soon! I think it's a bad idea to intentionally make the entire first season of your anime really cliche and boring just so you can surprise people with a payoff that comes halfway through. You don't get it, dude. You just don't get it. The show's creators are brilliant. Geniuses. Whatever you say, man. I'll keep watching. But it's just because I'm invested at this point. Oh, man. I can't wait until you hit episode 7. I wish I could see the look on your face. Dude. It's just a show. Have you seen episode 7 yet? Yeah, watched it last night. And? And? I saw that twist coming from a mile away. What? It was obvious, dude. That doesn't even count as a twist. No way! You're just trying to act like you're unimpressed. But I know it surprised you. Not really. They were dropping hints and clues everywhere. That was subtle foreshadowing. I'm beginning to think that we have completely different taste in anime. Finish season one. I have to admit, it was pretty good. Dude, seriously? What was your favorite part? The episode where they all went to the hot springs. That one was great. Okay, yeah, but what about the character development? The plot twist? The subversion of popular tropes? The deconstruction of the magical girl genre? The deep philosophical introspection? 
I like the bikini model. She's my favorite character. But... but... deconstruction! Does the bikini model get more screen time in season two? You're not worthy. You don't deserve to watch Magical Girl Pretty Miyuki. Dude, calm down. I said it's good. Don't talk to me.